Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. Uh, now as we head into the second half of 2023, uh, Google searches for the phrase how to trade commodities, they are surging once again uh, to their highest level in more than a year. This comes as no surprise given that the current macro driven backdrop that is fueling one of the greatest wealth transfers the world has seen, uh, presenting savvy traders with back to back money making opportunities. Opportunities. Data shows that one in two people they have now turned to trading to protect and diversify their wealth, as well as capitalize on the biggest macro themes driving the markets from a brewing global debt crisis, stickier than expected inflation to rapidly rising recession risk. And just in case that wasn't exciting enough, traders, they're now on the verge of being gifted with even more lucrative money making opportunities as the consequences of ongoing policy mistakes by central banks across the world that continues to elevate the odds of more economic shocks ahead. Uh, throughout our reports over the past quarter, we have routinely highlighted that commodities, they will be in very predictable trends, presenting savvy traders with a series of highly lucrative week-to-week -week opportunities to profit from the huge macro-driven rallies, as well as the pullbacks. Once again, everything we identified with you, that has played out as expected. Uh, the great news is this trend is here to stay and set to continue throughout the second half of 2023. Uh, historically, the summer months, they have always been considered one of the biggest and most lucrative periods of the year for commodity trading and considering the current macro backdrop this year should once again be no exception there's no denying that the previous quarter was monumental for monetary policy as central bankers across the world they ramped up their fight against stubbornly high inflation last week global central bank leaders they delivered a stem and unified message we will continue hiking rates to curb persistent inflation even if that comes at the cost of a recession that hawkish message was related Laid loud and clear across the European Central Bank's annual forum, where a host of heavy hitters from the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, the European Central Bank, they signalled that more aggressive action will be needed to bring inflation towards their 2% target, despite many economists warning that further rate hikes, that could ultimately trigger a recession or a global financial crisis. The rising cost of living as a result of rampant inflation, it's not only a US problem, but a global one. Nearly every economy around the world right now is fighting a significant significant price growth due to the effects of the pandemic, global supply chain disruptions, unprecedented monetary stimulus measures and Russia's ongoing war in Ukraine and of course the return of the global energy crisis which has flared up again in the European natural gas prices racking up triple digit gains in June sending prices skyrocketing to levels not seen since last summer. Not a single central policymaker at the European Central Bank's annual forum expects inflation to fall back to their 2% target in the next 12 to 24 months. So cementing the case for multiple interest rate hikes at consecutive policy meetings in July and September, potentially all the way through to December. According to Fed Chair Jerome Powell, although policy is restrictive, it may not be restrictive enough. That's a very bold statement, which many of the world's leading economists do not agree with because conclusive evidence shows that the current economic and financial market conditions, they cannot handle any more rate hikes. The further we go in restrictive territory, the more likely it becomes that we begin to see black swan events, just like we've seen recently with the second, third and fourth largest bank failures in history, which have all occurred in the past three months. Those hikes have also pushed mortgage rates up by more than double. Credit card debt has surpassed one trillion for the first time ever. Bankruptcy filings were at their highest level since 2008, whilst many overly inflated assets such as real estate and equities, they're beginning to display all the obvious warning signs that a bubble is about to burst. Since the beginning of the year, a long list of Wall Street banks from Goldman Sachs to Bank of America to Citigroup, they have repeatedly described commodities as their preferred asset class over the next decade. Last month, JP Morgan, they announced they began advising clients to dump equities and rotate capital into commodities now, ready to profit from the magnitude of events that is due to unfold over the second half of 2023. And they're certainly not alone. Data shows that nearly three quarters of central banks are now turning towards gold to head and safeguard against their risk of monetary policy error, which is just ironic because central banks, they're buying gold to protect themselves against the consequences of an economic crisis, which they themselves, they're creating 
through their costly policy failures and mistakes. According to a report from the World Gold Council, 71% of global central banks surveyed, they said they plan to significantly increase their gold purchases in the second half of 2023 by an estimated total of 700 metric tons, worth 49 billion in the next six months alone. Right now, central banks, they're not only net buyers of gold, but also record buyers. And this trend shows no sign of slowing down anytime soon. The bottom line is that central banks, they're buying gold for the same reason as everyone else to protect their purchasing power, diversify their wealth and capitalize on the high returns on offer in the current economic climate we find ourselves in right now. But make no mistake, this is not a buy and hold market. These exciting and fast moving markets, they are creating the most optimized environment for traders. So far this year, we've seen commodities notching up explosive double digit gains to the upside and the downside in a single week, sometimes in a single day, not once, not twice, but on multiple occasions. So just think about that for a second. And in today's inflation adjusted terms, your money sat in the bank will not even earn that return in a year or even five years from now. That's why it's no surprise that banks around the world, they're struggling to retain deposits. Logically, it makes no sense why anyone would want to leave their hard earned money sat in the bank on a near 0% interest rate while simultaneously allowing inflation to devalue their purchasing power when they can achieve weekly returns of 10% or higher by actively managing their wealth through trading. Right now, we have crisis on top of crisis, which as traders know, that translates to opportunity on top of opportunity. Yeah? This is the time that traders, they wait decades for because it's times like these that make millionaires and billionaires out of regular people. Yeah? Definitely do not underestimate what you can achieve in the next one month, three months, six months, or even 12 months from now. Yeah? Here at the Golden Silver Club, we're consistently banking over 10,000 points profit per month, which we've been transparently documenting through our weekly videos. If you're trading at one lot, that's $100,000. If you're trading at 10 lots, that's $1 million. The majority of our clients at the Golden Silver Club utilizing our proprietary research driven trading approach they've already made in excess of six and seven figures and we're only halfway through the year historically each time commodities have started off the year on a positive note they've always gone on to finish the year outperforming every other asset class out there and these past few months have just been a taster of what is yet to come if you want to take advantage of these extraordinary markets and huge money making potential on offer there's no better time than now go to join the golden silver club.com to learn how our mentorship program can take your trading to the next level. Investing in yourself is the best investment you will ever make. Your future, it is created by what you do today. Make investing in yourself a priority because nobody else is going to do it for you. So with that, let's move over to the charts and I'll talk you through exactly what we look at here as we head into next week. So firstly, talking you through exactly how we've positioned ourselves over the last few days. So coming into the start of the week, we banked over two trades, over 1,500 points profit on natural gas here. So we had a break out all the way back up towards the 2.9 level. So on one trade, we banked 770 points. On the other trade, we banked 780 points there. So for a total of over 1,500 points, as you know, for every one lot contract, you'll be trading. That's $15,000 of profit. Every 10 lot contract, you'll be trading. That's $150,000 of profit. Now, the overall price structure that we're seeing on multiple commodities, we've taken also the opportunity last week to sniper in and scale out of some profits on Brent crude oil here. Where we had a lovely 300 point breakout to the upside over Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So that was very fast profits on that trade. We've also taken the opportunity here on the dollar on Friday to bank further profits here on the breakout where we had the dollar breaking out to the highest levels in a couple of weeks here. We actually banked 150 points before it then tanks later on in the session on Friday. But we're also taking the opportunity here to sniper into multiple commodities as they've broken back down towards the lowest levels of 2023. So that includes platinum. That also includes palladium, which has broken down to four and a half year lows. As you know, we've added to a long on gold here, which started actually moving to profit on Friday days close. And we also took the opportunity over the last week and a half to bank profits on the breakout that we had on copper breaking out to two month highs here as well. The big opportunities that I now see as we go into next week are the fresh capital inflows that we typically get as you head into July. So you have to remember the first trading day of the week going into Monday, it's going to be the first day of a new quarter. We're moving into Q3, the second half of the year. Also, we have public holidays on both Monday and Tuesday in the USA. So as you know, normally when you've got a public holiday in the USA, this can actually create a risk on further compounded by the fact that it is the first day of a new quarter where you can see further breakouts potentially on commodities if we were going to see the usual movement that you do get during a public holiday with less liquidity in the market. And this can often cause those bigger, more exaggerated moves. So we've definitely positioned for that by snipering into platinum. We've also done the same on palladium here. We've 
got positions on copper right now. We have positions on gold. We also have uh, positions on crude oil. And as you know, we have positions on natural gas as well. So really the playbook I would look out for going into next week would be the potential to get a further run as we go into Monday and Tuesday, where you do have the USA on public holidays for Independence Day. So over Monday and Tuesday, this is often where you're going to get the potential for further inflows given that it is a new quarter and then once you hit Wednesday you have the minutes of the FOMC uh, and then you've got Friday's non-farm payroll later on in the week so the way it could work out especially on the metals here is that you may well get some further acceleration to the upside at the beginning of next week but again you want to be buying low in my opinion you don't want to be chasing it you want to be buying on red days when there's blood on the streets when we're breaking back down towards the lowest levels of the year these are often some of the better times to be buying. Certainly if we start to break out over Monday and Tuesday and into Wednesday when all of the traders get back from their public holidays in the USA, that can set up nicely for a trap where you get a breakout and then that gets sold into on a post-public holiday sell-off on the Wednesday and with the minutes of the FOMC and then Friday's non-farm payroll with traders taking profit off the table. So I would suggest that could be the setup now as we go into next week. So initially some potential upside here on commodities over Monday and Tuesday for the public holidays in the USA and then often you can then see that selling pressure once you hit the middle of the week from Wednesday Wednesday through to Friday. So yet again, it's just going to provide you lovely opportunities. If we do break out to the upside, we're looking to scale out our profits, bank into strength. And if we do get further selling pressure over the course of next week, very simply, I'm looking to accumulate again at lower prices, the lowest prices possible to benefit from the second half of the year and then going into the new quarter here into July, which historically is a fantastic month for trading commodities. And whatever long-term goal you're looking to achieve through trading, whether that's to create a full-time income, a second or replacement income, or just to earn a better return on your savings, now is the time to take action to really give yourself the gift of a better 2023 year. If you want to maximize your money-making potential and thrive, not just survive in these fast-moving markets, then you need to adapt your strategy to the current market conditions, and most importantly, utilize a professional research-driven approach. One of the biggest obstacles that holds back 99% of retail traders from achieving their desired success, it's not having access to the correct professional strategies, institutional level data and market intelligence to make confident decisions with accuracy and certainty. There's a huge gap between the top 1% of professional traders and the bottom 99% of misguided retail traders who simply rely on outdated technical analysis and gimmicky technical indicators that do not work in these markets. If you want to get yourself out of the bottom 99%, and into the top 1% who are actually crushing it and making six, seven, and eight figure returns in these markets, then you need to utilize a professional research driven approach, or you'll just end up wasting lots of time, money, and effort. You have no results to show for all of your hard work. In these rapidly changing markets, you need to be constantly innovating and evolving. Technical analysis, outdated technical indicators, it won't work. Those days, they're long gone. If that's all you're relying on, then the odds are already massively stacked up against you. If you want to change your results, you have to change your thinking. If you want to learn our exclusive research driven approach, that is never taught to retail traders, only reserved for professional traders in the banks, the hedge funds, with access to powerful game-changing insights, including where the banks and hedge funds they're buying and selling in real time, the key liquidity zones you can enter and exit the market with pinpoint precision, the fundamentals, the macroeconomics, the capital flows, the daily, weekly, monthly, the quarterly, real-time data-driven cycles, and the intermarket correlations. Then you need to join our mentorship program. As we head into the second half of the year, we are in one of the greatest eras of wealth creation the world has ever seen. And if you want to successfully capitalize on the huge money making opportunities ahead and build significant life changing wealth, then there's no better time than now. If you want to upgrade your income, then you have to upgrade your skills. Never underestimate what you can achieve in the next few months from now with the right guidance and mentorship. Time is the most valuable commodity that we have. Make sure that you don't waste it. If you want to join our community of successful traders and take your trading to the next level, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You get access to real-time trade ideas, access to institutional research and market intelligence, access to our Private Members Academy website, and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring. For more information, just go to jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP.